Kaboom! Uh, there went the markets. This is a broad market review by Meerkat in for D7 here at Grok Trade for December the 16th on 2015. The Fed Day announcement. Well, guess what? They actually did increase the rates. What a surprise. But what happened to the markets? Let's take a look here on the S&P 500 daily chart. Kaboom! Look at that sucker go up there. Yep. Uh, let's take a look here at the at the five minute chart and let's analyze what went on. So this is the SPY. That's the uh, ETF on the uh, S&P 500. Here it was at nine o'clock. Gapped up. This is just a five minute chart. And what happened? It kept trying to fill the gap all morning long, all morning long. Now I'm in the Grokstar trading room in the mornings. We're day traders and uh, and it just it completely filled the gap on the uh, Dow Jones Industrials, not quite here on the S&P. Then it just sat here and sat here for a long, long time. Now it's 2 o'clock. And at 2 o'clock on Eastern Time, they made the announcement what happened. And boom, there we go. Look at that sucker. It ran right up here and into the announcement. And then when it hit the announcement, just spiked up like that. And then it immediately pulled back. This is over five minutes. When it shot up, pulled right back here just to where it was before the announcement. And now again, we have a 30 minute break between when they made the announcement that they were raising it by a quarter of a percent to when Yellen started to speak. Now, here at 2.30, Yellen started to speak. There it is, right there. So, Yellen started to speak. So, we were pulling back the whole time. Yellen started to speak. They liked what she had to say. They did it because we had met our quote unquote. Uh, full unemployment numbers and that they were expecting inflation in the near future to be going up so that's why they pulled the trigger and and what happened here watch this so boom 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 now what I personally did was I had my hedges on right and it shot up here and I still had my hedges on I don't care I again this is for my long positions I had on short hedge and then it pulled all the way back right to here so I'm still neutral in my account when Yellen started to speak, it started to come up. And as soon as it broke this high right here, that's when I took off my hedges. That's personally what I did for my swing accounts. And bam, 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 it did a pullback right after I took my hedges off. And then look at this. Coming up here to the end of the day, and then high based here at the end of the day, just a little bit of profit taking at the very end here. So that's how the day ended up. Now let's take a look here at the actual numbers. Uh, we had the uh, SPY up here, 1.4%. You know, we had the Dow up 1.2%. The uh, NASDAQ up 1.47%. Uh, the small caps up 1.5%. And bank was up. 0.9%. Now it was lagging most of the day, well, quite interestingly enough, after having a huge update yesterday. The VIX, this is what happened to the VIX. You ready? Down 15.37% to 17.73. The fear came out. So it was, it was running up before the, for the news, and now that the news is here, it just sh just got sucked right out of the market, all the volatility. And then we've got silver uh, was up 2.9%, gold up 1.2%, and then we had oil drop. Are you ready for this? this? The actual close on oil on the WTI contract was minus 4.9%, down to 35.52. That was just after the announcement, and oil just dropped like a rock. It did recover a little bit here, so this uh, USO uh, was just down only 3.6%. Right. Dollar, yeah, it was about neutral here, and the trend trade is not on. So, what has happened is since the announcement uh, here after closing, all of the banks now have, have raised their prime interest rate by one quarter of one percent. So they're all competitive and it's rather uniform now. So they're all making those announcements now as the market has closed. All right, so where do we go from here? Let's go back to the uh, daily chart. Here's the S&P daily and uh, again we were in this symmetrical triangle and with this 210 has been a uh, bugger that we have not been able to get uh, up uh, and break out above. Uh, and so we've been in this range here be between these purple lines for the last year and two months. 
and we just had this one hinge drop down here. But now where are we back? Right in the fray of things here, coming up to that 210, all this built-in resistance. We are basically now up for the year slightly. We were actually negative for the year uh, prior to this announcement. So let's take a here. Let's go ahead and compress this down. You can see here. Here, look at that. Look at all this consolidation we've been in all year long in that same range. Do you see that? Uh, just this dip here in uh, August and September. Now we're back back up right into the middle of all that. Let's go to the Qs. Daily chart here on the uh, NASDAQ uh, ETF. And here we are right back up here, right in the middle here between these two major lines, the um, all-time high up here and down here uh, was major line of support and it's been in this range long long time let's go to the uh, small cap Russell and again it was more and more bearish than the others but now look at this now we've got a nice strong V now what's a little bit disappointing is we've had really high volume the last four sessions but look at this on the two up ones it's now slightly decreasing here so uh, this now so we've dodged this bullet today and it the markets ended up going up for those of you who were along the market now here's the caution big caution and that is today's just the first day we haven't raised the rates in nine years the market really doesn't know how to react to all this so what's going to be happening we need to watch here over the next couple of days as the market interprets what this is going to mean in the longer term again prime interest rates are already up a quarter of a point not a big surprise but it does affect the lending institutions and then we also have to look at bank remember bank this shows us a close here on bank today. It has now reversed. This is the one I'm going to be watching. What's going to happen to the banks and the financials now that they have actually raised the rates? So, and in using the analogy of a rocket taking off, she said, we now have liftoff. Now the question is going to be, how often will they continue to raise the rates as we go forward? And uh, the more frequent that is, of course, um, the more impact it will have on the economy and the growth of the economy. And so that's one thing to be answered. We don't trade the news, we trade what we see. So we just need to be cautious as we move forward here. Uh, we had a nice update today. I was able to take off my hedge and, and to make some money here on at least part of the move up today. But again, what's the long what's the midterm impact here? We need to be careful. This is the Meerkat in for D7. Uh, just remember the uh, Meerkat. 10 trading rules. Number one, uh, protect your capital. Capital preservation is key. How do you do that? You always, always, always trade with a stop. Trade safely and trade well.